Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new and welcome back if you're one of my regulars. Hi to those of you who are new. If you are here for IKEA hacks, tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff, this is your video because I love taking things from Ikea and making them work in a new or different way here in my home. And so today I'm gonna to show you all the things that we've done in the past and how we've made it work in our home. I'm also gonna show you what we have done during quarantine because we've had to modify some of the things in order to make it work for homeschool, for working from home, all that kind of stuff because things totally changed when we had to ever all hunker down and be locked down at home. I'm also gonna share with you some things that we're gonna do in the future as soon as Ikea opens up because this girl cannot afford $50 in shipping per item. So I have to wait till the store opens up, but I have some ideas. You have to stick around to the end and I'll show you those ideas. So for right now, we're gonna go to what we've already done in the past and I'm gonna link videos that we've done in the past so you can check out how we actually did them. So you're gonna kinda get an after, but let's go check out those things. First of all, make sure you go subscribe Click on the little bell so you can get notified because you're going to want to see what we do in the future, both here on our vlog channel and also just with how we decorate and organize our home because that's kind of my thing. And also, you guys, I put lip gloss on for this. So, I mean, like, that's something. So you're going to want to stick around. Okay, let's go. All right, so one of the biggest things that we've ever done with an Ikea hack is this bookcase. Now, I'm going to take you up a little bit closer so you can kind of see what we've done here. That's one bookcase there. This is one bookcase, and that is one bookcase. And up here is one of the extender pieces. So what did we do? We attached them all together, and we made one solid built-in bookcase. No, it's not built into the wall, but it is hooked to the wall. And if we had other units on each side, we could run the entire trimming all the way to the wall and make it look more built-in, but we didn't want to do that. So this is the first main thing that we have done on a big scale in terms of an Ikea hack. And we have a whole series of videos, but one main video of how we did this whole tutorial. And you can check that out and I'll put those in a link below. But I just wanted to show you that you can take something from an Ikea and make it look custom. Part of the beauty of Ikea is that it's cheap. And yes, yeah, so you have to put it together yourself and you have to fight with your husband or your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your brother, your sister, your parents, or whatever, to get that put together. But it is worth it in the end because they are good, solid pieces. And you can make it work in more of a fashionable way if you just add some trim on the top, on the bottom, all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna wanna check out this tutorial of what we did to put this into our house. I'm not gonna lie, it took a couple days. Actually, it took a couple weeks. I ended up hitting a deer with my car on the way to get the very last piece of wood for this. So. It, there was some delays, but it is possible to get it done. You could get it done in a weekend. We had to adjust for the windows, so it kind of added some time. But this is the first and biggest thing that we've ever done with an Ikea item. And I just think it's a showcase for our home. Everyone notices it when they come in. So you're gonna wanna check out that video. If you wanna do something like this in your home, you can modify it for whatever space you need. And I just think it's a really fun way to make it look like a piece of furniture instead of just an Ikea shelf. So the other day, I was sitting here on my computer doing a family call on, it's not on Zoom, but it was the equivalent of Zoom. We're in quarantine if you are unaware in the future. And my brother, every single call, always mentions this wall of craft boxes. And he's like, what in the world is that? So let me show you what I have here. It is not pretty, it is not custom, it is not built in like the cabinets in our front room, but it is very, very effective. And I wanted to show you how you can take those same Ikea shelves and really utilize them in your space. All right, here in my craft room, and yes, it is my craft room. This is kind of my domain. We have two of the bookcases. They're the ones with the cubes on them. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it here in the screen so you can see what it is. I have taken two of these units and stuck them side by side. They're hooked to the wall, they're totally safe, and I keep all of my craft supplies on here and keep it all nice and organized, but I needed more room. Yes, look at that, you guys. I turned it on its side. This is the exact same unit here as the ones down here below and I turned it on its side and it does the exact same thing up there. So I use laced, look at this. It's clear up to the ceiling. I'm gonna back up so you can see 
all the way to the ceiling, maximized all the space that I could here in this room, and I have everything organized, all nice and pretty. By the way, I do actually have four girls. The fourth one, let's show you. It won't fit right here. But her name is Ashley, and Abby, Kaylee, and Chelsea. So you can see that sometimes you don't even need to like make it look super pretty, you can just make it effective. I needed to put all these bins into this room and keep things organized, that's my nature. I like things in the right place. I have things like sewing bucket and office supplies and electronics and power cords and batteries and candles. It's all right here, it's all organized. Nothing fancy, literally just built the shelves, put them against the wall and put the stuff on it. And you can make it super easy like that in your own home. And we take a break for my daughter to make a smoothie. Just one second. All right, next up is the rest of my office. So this is what we've done over the years. We've added all the Ikea tabletops to this room. And I'm gonna show you some ideas that we've done over the years, as well as something we did during quarantine. So we've gotten all these tables. They're just the regular old tabletop, and then we add the legs. This is the corner unit over here that they carry, and then we did the corner unit over here and matched that table on that side. But we had this space here in the middle. You can see that one right there is not the same size as this guy here, and the in-between size didn't actually fit right here. So we actually have a video to show you. I'll link it down below as well. We actually took one of the long tables and cut it and moved the leg pieces to fit in that space specifically. That way the desk is one solid piece going all the way around the room and before it ended right there. And then quarantine happened and my husband had to come home and do his work from home. We own a shoe store. So he had to do his office work from home instead of at the store. So then we added one more table to the end. So we added this table here on the end and then it got to be 90 degrees and then he went back to work. So now he no longer uses the desk. But it is efficient to put the AC unit on it for right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave it because we still need the space right here for my girls to do their homeschool work. I still need it to be able to help them if they put their computers here for me to help them. And then I do all my work here in this corner and then this corner over here is for them to charge all their computers and keep all their extra schoolwork on this side. So you can see that even though I took items that were pretty standard from Ikea, we were able to modify them for our specific space and really utilize every ounce of space here in our office. So other things that we did during quarantine that started my mind thinking of what we can do to better utilize some of the space I don't like to see the mess. So I don't like to see all the clutter underneath the desk. I like everything up in its own space. I like to have everything organized in its own bin. I've got notebooks here in this little box. I've got other notebooks and papers in this one. And I do not like to see clutter. So the first thing we did was take out all the clutter that was underneath this desk right here. And I'll put all the links to the videos where you can see all that before. and. All of this stuff underneath here is, it just drives me nuts. So what I decided during quarantine that I needed was the Alex drawer unit that's on caster wheels. I'm pretty sure it'll slide in underneath the desk and then I can pull it out if I ever need to, but I don't think I need to. It just doesn't fit the whole height of the desk. So I, it doesn't rest on top of the desk. Um, so I kind of have to put it on the wheels in order to be able to fit it underneath the desk and not have too much of a gap, if that makes sense. Um, but then I can put a lot of my office supplies that are underneath the desk now into that drawer unit. I can get some of my camera equipment put in there. I can kind of declutter underneath my desk. And then everyone always comes into the room and is asking for things. And it's very helpful because this stuff is all organized and they can go and get it from here. But it's really difficult when it's all from underneath the desk and it's harder to find stuff and have easier access to it. So as soon as Ikea opens up, I am gonna get that drawer unit and organize that. So stay tuned for that video because there's a lot of organization, organization that's gonna take place in order to make that happen. 
but that's my hope is that I can get that unit. It, I just am not willing to pay $50 in shipping when the store is 25 minutes away from me. I can go to the store as soon as it's open here after quarantine and go ahead and get that unit. I'll have all summer to put it together. Let's just be honest. There's a lot of time on our hands these days. So that's it you guys. Stay tuned for that video that I'm going to do with the shelf and the drawer unit that I'm going to get from Ikea in the future. Don't know when that's going to be so you're going to want to stick around. But also go check out the other playlist items, the other videos that we've done in the past and how we made the bookcases and how we organized and cleaned and decluttered and all that kind of stuff. Because that's what I do here on my channel when I'm not taking care of my kids, when we're not going on vacation, when we're not, you know, having fun and doing the normal things. I like to keep the house organized. I like to decorate. You're going to want to stick around and come back for more. So make sure you click on that bell to get notified of future videos, but you got to subscribe first and stick around because we had a lot of fun. You, you might find out you know, want to know more than just about Ikea. So take care and we'll see you later. One more thing. Do you guys have any tips that you see from the things that you've seen here in my house that I could utilize from Ikea? Do you Have you done things from Ikea that you could see might be helpful here in my home? Or maybe they're just an idea that you've done from home. I would love to hear what they are. Ignore my kids in the background. They're hungry for lunch. So I got to wrap this up. But I'd be curious to see what you guys have done with Ikea stuff. If it's beyond just putting up a shelf, I'd love to know your tips and tricks as well. So leave a comment below and we can learn from each other. So take care you guys and we'll see you later.